Okay, we're here with actor Conrad Ricamora, who, as anybody who hasn't lived under a rock for the past season, uh, will recognize as Oliver from How to Get Away with Murder. And glasses. <laughs> Sometimes glasses. Sometimes glasses, yeah. Okay. And he will be opening in The King and I here at Lincoln Center on in April. Yeah. So why don't you first uh, go back? I know your your dreams to be an actor really didn't come to fruition until you were in college, right? Yeah, uh, let's see, I went to undergrad on a tennis scholarship, and uh, where I grew up or was on mostly on Air Force bases, so there wasn't access to arts at all, especially for guys, because it's a very macho culture to grow up in. Uh, so, when, But when I got to undergrad, uh, there was this explosion of like, the world is a much bigger place, and uh, there's theater, and piano, and... Uh, singing and uh, just everything in the uh, that you, that wasn't uh, available growing up on an Air Force base where it was very sheltered and very much one way of thinking. Uh, it's a very like masculine like arts are for girls and so yeah that's how I took an acting class on a whim uh, in undergrad and it was my junior year and I fell in love with it but I was already far along in my psychology degree. And uh, so I decided to finish out doing my psych degree. And then after college, I just started taking acting classes at film acting school in Charlotte, North Carolina. And started doing community theater. It didn't pay. Uh, started getting paying work. And it just kind of snowballed from there. And you've had some critically acclaimed roles. I know you did a play before you went out to um, LA for How to Get Away with Murder. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'd say, the, for me, artistically, the biggest uh, play my, that opened my eyes was doing uh, that, this version of Romeo and Juliet called Shakespeare's R&J, mm -hmm. um, that uh, I played the, a school, Catholic schoolboy that was, they, he found a copy of Romeo and Juliet, and he started acting out uh, Juliet's lines with three of the other boys, and I just thought that that show just kind of made me feel like, oh, this is, this is, this is what good acting and, and good theater can do, and, uh, yeah, but I think the show you're probably talking about is, um, Here Lies Love. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay, I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Here Lies Love was the, the show by, musical by David Byrne from The Talking Heads, and it was the first show that I got right out of grad school. So for anybody who hasn't lived under a rock for this past season, they have been able to see your nuanced performance as um, Oliver on How to Get Away with Murder. What is it like being um, the conscience of the show? Um, because everybody on that show is literally crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of backstabbing and scheming, and Oliver just seems to be like, a Love me, I wanna. Yeah, and I just, want, I just want a boyfriend. Yeah, well, you certainly picked a good-looking one at least <laughs> on the show. <laughs> no, right. Yeah. So, what's it like being on a show um, like that, where you've kind of been thrust into um, the eyes of millions of people? Did you expect the uh, reaction to the show when you first started? Uh, yeah, because Viola Davis was attached to it, you know. I mean, she, I, everyone knows and knew how amazing she is and was before How to Get Away with Murder. Um, so I think the expectation for this show was pretty high. And I mean, she just delivered in spades, like every, you see it every week. Mm -hmm. She's just captivating to watch. So uh, yeah, I, I, I thought it was going to be a big hit. I mean, I didn't know how uh, I was going to react to it in the first, after the first episode, I freaked out. Like, I was, it was just weird to know that, like, to feel like that many millions of eyeballs <laughs> have seen your face, and it's just a weird experience to, to have, and then, uh, and then you get over it and just get back to living your life. Yeah. Did you know you were going to be in the whole season, or was it something no. you got put in episode by episode? Yeah, well, we shot the pilot, and then Pete Nowak, the creator, after uh, when I was done shooting my scene, uh, came up to me and was like, I think I'm going to look to write this guy in uh, a little bit more. Uh, uh, so Probably do in large part to you. What's that? May in large part to you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Give I yourself so. some credit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, you know, you, my 
one of my best favorite acting teachers just told me a long time ago to just focus on the work and let everything else just kind of uh, let, let everything else unfold and as it will because that's the only thing you can control is the, is uh, your uh, commitment to the work and your work ethic and so that's what I've done for over God, a little over 10 years now since I've been studying and, and acting as a professional and yeah, everything else I can't cap. You can't uh, control what you get cast in. Mm -hmm. So why even worry about that world? Just go and do your job and see what unfolds for you. <laughs> Plus, if you're going into it for the fame, you're going into it for a whole different reason than a lot of actors are anyway. Yeah. You don't seem like you're that kind of actor. You seem like you are into it for the craft. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I've. Uh, fell in love with it in a classroom setting mm -hmm. and just started studying it uh, without any idea of where it would lead and here we are at Lincoln Center. <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> it's it's not a shabby place to open a show, huh? Yeah, oh my gosh. I know, to have your Broadway debut at, at Lincoln Center. It's just, it's gorgeous here. Yeah. It is, yeah. It's so great. It's so classy. <laughs> yeah, and now you're in rehearsals, but it does yeah. open, so can you talk a little bit about your role and, you know, yeah, uh, I play Loon Ta. Uh, he is one of the young lovers uh, of the show. Um, that uh, he's kind of followed his love, who is uh, uh, enslaved by the king, who's a, a present to the king. But I've followed her to the palace and trying to make it work out. Yeah. <laughs> and you're doing Taylor's yeah. oldest time, right? <laughs> yeah. And you get to play that diversity where you you know you play a gay character on how to get away with murder, playing a straight character here. I know it's I, so hard. Trying I know. To like, <laughs> Wait, am I am gay? I am I straight? What I is gay? going on? <laughs> yeah. When is Jack coming out to kiss me in the middle of uh, King and I? You know what's so funny is that Jack and Ashley went to high school together, and Ashley is playing my lover in in the King and I. That and is so funny. Isn't that funny? What yeah. a small world. Yeah, yeah, they were friends in high school. So he has no excuse to not come see the show. I know. Yeah, no, he's already said he's gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're on notice, Jack. <laughs> yeah, right. So, what is it like um, in terms of obviously when you're filming a television show, you don't know what the outcome is going to be or what your popularity is going to be like. When you step on that stage, you better deliver and you better deliver big for oh. those people who are in for the, the audience. For yeah. The TV show. Yeah. Well, oh. well, like, what's the difference to you? Like, do you find one more comfortable than the other? Do you really like the energy you're performing well, live? I've, I've done. Th I've been doing theater for as long. Well, I started studying at a film acting school, and then I started doing community theater. But I've done way more theater than I have TV, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just because it was more readily available. Uh, so. What's nice about the TV uh, stuff is just like you said, I have no idea where the story's going, what I'm gonna get in my hands, like when I get the script every week, like flipping through it. Uh, yeah, so that's really exciting, and I don't know where they're gonna take it in the future either. Right. Um, and how the, the relationship between Connor and Oliver is gonna unfold. Uh, so that's, that's, that's really exciting, and it's unlike theater where you, once you, once you get hired, you get the beginning, middle, and end of the script, and that's it. And then you figure out what the journey is through like rehearsals and, and all of that kind of stuff, and through previews and opening, and then the run of the show. Uh, you have that, but you take the journey from beginning, middle, to end every single night. So it's just a different challenge. Of, in theater, it's a different uh, muscle, trying to stay, f keep it fresh uh, every night, and then in television, um, it feels like to uh, it's almost encouraged to try different things on different takes so that they have more to work with and right. they can edit it in whatever way they want to to move the story along. So yeah, it's cool to be it's so cool to be doing both. Was it hard jumping out of Oliver's skin to come right into rehearsals? I know you mentioned that you came right into rehearsals. Yeah, uh, no. No, I have a, a pretty good, you know, I, I went to grad school uh, later on in my career. Just I only graduated from grad school in 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, and it gave me a good technique to kind of keep everything separate, to be able to, to, uh, to have a good way of approaching my work and then also to let go of my work so that it, I can live a normal life and, and I'll juggle multiple projects at the same time. Uh, I think that 
the, the training that I got at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville uh, really helped me like be able to do many things at the same time. Yeah. Do you get recognized a lot here in New York? Yeah, it's been yeah. happening yeah. Some of the TV show. Uh, a little bit with Here Lies Love, it, it was happening for uh, a little while and then uh, the TV show just kind of exploded that like by 10 times mm -hmm. as much. Uh, so yeah, it's it's cool. I mean, never I was going to say you seem very down to earth, so it doesn't seem <laughs> like you get phased by it at all, and you you know you kind of welcome it. Yeah, no, it's really nice to to hear people say they love the show, they watch it every week, and they love the story that's going on uh, with with Connor and Oliver, and uh, so yeah, it's nothing been it's been nothing but positive. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that storyline is a nice break from the heavy, even though sometimes it's heavy because Connor's usually like out of his mind when he comes over <laughs> to poor Oliver but yeah. uh, but it's like a nice break from the the real heavy drama because you could see that uh, in your portrayal of Oliver that he really just wants to have yeah, this good guy boyfriend good, you know what I mean yeah he just wants a, to have a simple life with uh, with a love of his own and and he gets stuck with Connor who's a damn mess <laughs> <laughs> well they say you can't control who you fall in love that's with. right that's right <laughs> so yeah We'll see who that, how that unfolds. Now, uh, what advice would you give to people who are just starting out? I know you're relatively new, but you've also had a pretty good deal of success in in that short amount of time that you've been in doing this. So yeah, what well, I mean, I've been doing it for a while. I've been I started right after I graduated from gra from undergrad. So since I was 22, and I'm 35, I'm about to turn. Oh 36. wow! Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I've been doing it for over 10 years now. So you're not uh, an overnight success story, as no, they say. No, no. I, I mean, this career has taken me from Charlotte, North Carolina, doing theater and little, like, TV local commercial things in Charlotte to Philadelphia, down to Tennessee, to Utah, uh, to California, just theaters all over the country. Mm -hmm. I, guess, I would say just keep doing it. You know, you can do, you can act wherever you are. Uh, and if you are in New York and pounding the pavement with auditions and uh, just, I would say, keep going to auditions. Keep do find times to meet with friends to work on your audition material. And mm -hmm. uh, that's my main advice is just to keep doing it because even yeah, I have I have two jobs right now, but those will end at a some at some point, and so you just have to keep <laughs> going. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Yeah. Um, no viewers, obviously stay tuned to see what's <laughs> coming up with Oliver. And then uh, if you're in the New York area, get your little butts down to uh, Lincoln Center. King and I, yeah, the posters are right over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. he's starring in the show, so you're going to get your money's worth. Yeah, well, it's and it's going to be an, an amazing, huge... Uh, and intimate, epic and intimate at the same time. It's gonna be just beautiful, so. Yeah. Well, we're lucky to have you, so. Oh, thanks. Thank thanks. you. Yeah, thank you.